So today's video is all about how to hold the guitar. I know that might seem, you know, kind of simplistic or obvious or almost unnecessary, but hear me out on this one, especially if you're a beginner. So you get your guitar, you get home, and you sit down and you, you're trying to hold and support this big thing on your lap. And uh, sometimes they're heavy, you know, like electric guitars can be. Um, and uh, yeah, you kind of wonder if you're actually doing it right. So for this video, we're going to focus on the seated position with the guitar, uh, not using a strap and standing up and jumping around all over the place. We can get to that a little bit later. Now, before we get down to it, I recommend that you get a chair with no arms. Uh, the arms of the chair will kind of interfere with, you know, bump into the back of the guitar and get in the way of your arms. So chair with no arms, if, if you have one, and one that allows your leg to be fairly straight across. I mean, we're all different shapes and sizes, uh, so you'll have to kind of maybe hunt around your house for something. So let's start off with the acoustic guitar. Now, fortunately, most acoustic guitars are pretty much the same shape. I mean, sometimes they'll have, you know, cutaways here for your, your hand to get uh, easier access to the upper part of the neck, but generally the same. So this part right here, this curve, this is easy. This goes on your right leg if you're right-handed if you're left-handed by the way this will all be in reverse so it would be on your your left leg so we place it on the leg and we draw the guitar into the body now we don't want it like really snug ugh, you know against the body like that kind of thing we want it just kind of a little bit out from the body and i would suggest uh if we look in the upper view here about a hand width or so and then what you can do is tilt the guitar just a little bit like this. Not, not a big tilt like this kind of thing. So like a, like a hand width and then like so. Now you don't have to angle it back like that. You can keep it, keep it straight. Um, but sometimes what that leads to is you end up like leaning over the guitar and it goes forward like this, making it kind of difficult to do what you need to do with your left hand. Okay, so the next step, we take our arm, our right arm, and we place it right on this part of the guitar here. And voila, it just kind of holds it in place like this. So there you go, easy peasy, right? Well, the reality is, is the first time that you do this, it's probably not going to be perfect. It's it, more than likely your guitar is going to want to kind of move this away, or it might want to kind of slip and fall like that. Um, it can be kind of a kind of a bit of a beast at first, the acoustic guitar. Um, now, just kind of analyze what you're doing a little bit. Like maybe you're pulling with this arm instead of just placing it there. Okay. Um, your leg, you may might be on a chair that's too high, so your leg might actually be angled. In which case, you need to get a different chair. Um, now I don't recommend that you sit on a couch where you're kind of like reclined back and you got the guitar like this because, well, let's face it, uh, that would be really difficult to, to play guitar like that. Now the same technique applies to electric guitar as well. Um, electric guitars for the most part are solid bodied instruments. They're quite a bit heavier than acoustics. And if you're lucky, they'll actually just kind of sit there because the body weight itself is holding it in place. Um, however, depending on the design, they will also want to kind of slip off this way and that way kind of thing. So you still need to use your arm to kind of give that some support and hold it in place. Now, a little side note here, of course, there are lots of different shapes of electric guitars. Uh, so you'll get like some V-shaped ones or things with points on them and so on. You'll have to kind of figure that out uh, depending on what you've got. Okay, so now we're holding our acoustic guitar with our arm. It's in place. This next thing I'm about to show you is very, very important. The acoustic guitar, because of the size of the body and the length and everything, typically does not sit like so. So if we see the above angle here, it's not like this on my body, because then I have to really, really reach over with my right arm here to do what I need to do. Having the guitar on a slight angle like this, like almost like a V, that is totally cool to do. Okay, so again, not straight flat into the body like this, but like that. Okay, not too extreme, not too far out this way, but just like so. 
Now, the same kind of thing on the electric guitar. I don't have it like this. It's kind of a little bit like that. Okay, less so because it's a, it's a smaller bodied instrument and much thinner. Now, of course, people come in all shapes and sizes. So what works for me wouldn't necessarily work for you. Um, sometimes, depending on like, like height or the uh, size of the guitar, uh, we need a little bit of extra support. And what I mean by that is quite often people will use these things. These, this is a classical guitar footstool. It just kind of folds up like so. You can get these at almost any music store or order it off, you know, on off of Amazon online or something. Um, and it's just an adjustable footstool that goes on the floor and then just kind of place your foot on top to give yourself a little bit of extra height, a little bit of extra support. Now, also, depending on your age, you may have a set of encyclopedias hanging around at home that nobody uses anymore. You can always use those or an old phone book. What's a phone book, right? But uh, some something to raise that up. Now, I've also recommended to students in the past to sometimes you could take a small towel and roll it up and put it underneath the guitar to give it some height. And something I like to use is called a neck up. And it's just a simple device that kind of goes on like a strap and with a suction cup here and kind of angles my guitar a little bit for me. Okay, not a lot, but just a little bit and brings up the height. So I like to use that when I play fingerstyle guitar. And if you don't know what that is, it just means that I'm playing everything with my fingers as opposed to a pick. I find that it kind of helps with a little bit of an angle and some more height, uh, especially I do get a bit of a sore back uh, from playing guitar sometimes. It really helps with that. So there you go. There's some basics on how to hold and support your instrument so that you're not kind of fighting with it and you can just get down to doing some playing. So I'm Sean. I hope that helped a lot and I'll see you next time.